Good morning! Welcome to Highway 49 RC. This video has nothing to do with any of my RC cars and everything to do with all the parts and components and equipment that I stock to keep them running. What I've got is a cabinet, metal drawer cabinet there. Let's get up, let's get up on the bench and talk about it. Alright, so here it is. So what the heck is this? This is a, what is it, a card cabinet? Like one of those card file cabinets? And I got this from a neighbor of mine that is moving. Um, I was able to trade her a wooden bowl for it. If you want to help support the channel, I recommend you go contact me on Instagram. I have some various wooden items for sale as a thousand subscribers is coming up. I'd greatly appreciate that. Anyway, what I want to do basically is clean this thing up, get it all de-rusted and ready for primer and paint. Although the thing is, as I'm not exactly sure what method I'm going to use to get rid of all of said rust, I've got a few options. Can use some sandpaper, can wire brush it, wire wheel, flap disc, die grinder with a flap disc. Um, what else could I do? I mean, that's basically my methods. So I'm gonna try those out this morning, see which one works, and uh, get this thing and all its drawers cleaned up. It did come with these dividers. I am going to be making more though because it did not come with that many. And I have a specific spot that this thing is going to be going in my room. But we'll get to that later. Maybe in another video we'll see how long this ends up taking. But anyway, yeah, let's get started. update. The main cabinet is done. I guess I didn't really clarify. My goal was just to get rid of any loose rust essentially that was in there or, or loose paint and I've achieved that. There's still rust, there's still paint, but that's no big deal because I'm going to be priming right over it.
these drawers have been sanded and are ready to go. Those drawers still need sanding. I decided to take a break since my fingers are getting a little bit raw and I figured I'd better stop before I have to get a tetanus shot because I've actually sanded into my fingers to the point where, they're ble where they bleed before. Not a good thing. But, I mean, they're not perfectly clean, but all the loose rust, loose paint, stuff like that has mostly been sanded off of them. They still need to be blown off with compressed air, but we'll do that in a bit. But what you just saw me doing was working on the bench shelf sort of thing that this cabinet is going to be sitting on. I've got two pieces of red oak gluing right now, or the glue is currently drying. Um, figured I'd work on that since I was in between steps basically, but uh, yeah, let this dry for a bit. Probably tomorrow I'll come back and start putting it together. <laughs> Bench is finished, everything's sanded, pretty happy with the way it turned out. I just nailed it because I decided that would be faster. Little triangles in the corners came out okay, not the best. Got a blow through on this one as you can see there. Couldn't pull it out so I just had to sand it down. But let's go put this in its final location. Minus the cabinet of course, it still needs some paint. And there is the final resting place of it. It's a good spot for it because it contains my backpacks in a nice little cubby sort of area and it'll be easily accessible to my RC workspace. Paints have just arrived. The reddish brown is the primer and then I'm doing blue and black. And everything is sanded and ready to go so let's set up and get spraying. <laughs>
go. Paint is finally done. I think it looks very swish and it's on my wooden bench as well. Um, I can't start sorting things into it just yet as I'm waiting or as I'm still painting the dividers for the drawers themselves. But uh, we can start to gather some, gather some things up and sort things out into their respectable piles from those drawers. I've got some stuff there. I've got some stuff up the top there. I've just kind of got junk a little bit of everywhere, a little bit of everywhere around here, and that's what this set of drawers is going to help me organize.
has been put into drawers and labeled. Of course, I'm going to put you on a tripod and go through all that because if I were watching this video, I would want to see everything that's in said drawers. <laughs> but I'm sure in the time lapse, actually, you guys probably noticed over here. What the heck? I've got a glider. Um, it's not actually a glider. Well, it is. It was. This kind old man gave me this box, and it, basically all that was in it was just a ton of balsa wood. And so I'm going to be using it to make some scale accessories at some point. That's why it's in my room. For a long time it was out in the garage, up on our wood rack, um, and yada yada. You don't need to know that. None of this is the stuff. That small pile is going out in the garage. That pile of stuff is getting rid of. That's mostly dead servos, random junk that I just don't care about anymore. Anyway, to the tripod. Okay, so let's quickly go over what's in all these. This drawer is just bagged stuff that I kind of have organized in a certain way in my head so I have spur and pinion gears, axle gears, um, and then these three bags are from kind of different time periods of projects that I was working on so those just kind of stay as a mental note. These are all servo horns and servo screws and things like that that you get with servos for the plane guys. Also bagged stuff um, from another point in time, steering stuff, Links. I don't know why these are in here, but they seem to fit the bill as well. We've got leaf springs and trailer parts there. Pink slash parts. General slash parts. So the stuff that came with it, the uh, parts that I've gotten upgrades for, stuff like that. So our Traxxas type shocks. So anything like shocks that belong on a Traxxas vehicle. Um, and then crawler shocks, stuff, these are axial shocks and G-made shocks, but here we have drive shafts and broken axle shafts because I'm doing a project at some point in my life that's going to need um, like axle shaft material, so the broken ones are a perfect candidate for uh, that project, so that's why I'm saving them. Uh, AR-44 axles, talked about those maybe in another video, kind of you were actually sent these to me. Some other stuff in there. In this drawer we've got transmission related things. We've got a summit transmission from a project way back in my heyday. Uh, gearbox that another viewer sent me. These are like replacement electronics that I could take to a crawl and if somebody needed a motor or a servo, I could give it to them basically and I wouldn't have hard feelings about it. Galanda stuff, basically this is just stuff that's being held for temporary and these are just various other parts that I've gotten replacements for. Um, miscellaneous motors, <laughs> I have a lot of them because I, I don't know if you guys know at one point I had two Emaxes and my dad had an Emax so I have a ton of these Titan 550 motors, got some Titan 775s, an old ESC, stuff like that. Um, down here I've got wire just miscellaneous battery and motor wire and a category called attachers so velcro, servo tape, and these bendy wire restraints and finally miscellaneous this is um, like the castle motor and ESC books random nonsense there and then I have all my extra dividers here I actually had to make these dividers um, I didn't show them making them on camera or anything, but I just cut them out of pieces of aluminum, painted them, and they fit in there. I didn't actually have to use any of them, but I have four extra drawers here that I can use. I guess that's out of shop, but there's <laughs> four extra drawers over that way, and I can use those dividers for those. Alright, so finally, we are done with this project here. Hopefully you guys, do, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. This has been the longest project in a single video that I have done. It's taken me about a week to do all this work, to clean it all up, get everything painted and organized and stuff like that. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed. Um, I don't know if there's going to be another project like this, but this has definitely been a different sort of thing, more of a channel and home studio infrastructure type of project. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, comment down below. What you think, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to that to get notified of future content. Also, follow me on Instagram at highway49 underscore RC, and uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Toodles!